What's up, YouTube? Tonight we're going to do a uh, Manaphy distribution. It's Thursday, so I normally cover some of the uh, Pokemon events that I have. And um, I'll give some information on them and some Pokemon sets. And uh, just really chill out video for Thursday. Okay, so this is the Manaphy uh, 2007 Toys R Us distribution card. So this was for Diamond and Pearl. Um, now this event was on the 29th of September 2007 and it actually only ran for one day, so a very short amount of time. Um, it also can be any nature. So what's happening on the screen at the moment, I've got one on DS with the actual Manaphy card in it. I've adjusted the time in the event, so now that's distributing Manaphy wirelessly. Now on my other DS here, I've just set up the time and the date. Uh, you know, the date is on the 2007, the uh, 29th, and I've just booted that game up too. So now I'm going to go into uh, my Pokemon ver uh, version of Pearl. Obviously, this was only in Diamond and Pearl at this stage, uh, 2007. So going into that one, and you can go to Receive Gift. Um, you can also go to Check Card as well. So if you remember my last video, we did that about Arceus. So that actually kind of stores like your last Wonder Card or your Wonder Cards that were used. Um, so we can go for Receive Gift, and we can go to uh, Via Wireless. Because obviously, with there's two DSs next to each other, one has the cart inside of it distributing a wireless signal, and the other one is going to uh, Mystery Gift and receiving the Pokemon, which is Manaphy. So there's the Manaphy we just received, and uh, it looks pretty cute. Um, also, it's just a little kind of fun fact with Manaphy. Uh, mostly, it was in, like, Pokemon Ranger games when it was given out. Like, the majority of events Manaphy is was in Pokemon Ranger. Um, we actually did get a, um, a 20th anniversary of Manaphy last year in 2016. There were a couple of events earlier on than that that were scattered, but mostly, in majority, it's been in the Pokemon Ranger games. If you remember getting the Manaphy egg from those games, it was pretty cool. But unfortunately for that one, they actually killed the server, so kind of sucks. Anyways, so we got uh, my Pokemon Pearl version. I always love opening this. Uh, now, I just want to also show you this too. So you can go, once you get the Pokemon and go to back to check card, you can see the Manaphy is actually in there. So it stores all the Wonder Cards you have, right? Now, there is a, um, a certain amount of Wonder Cards you can have. So once you have reached that certain limit, you'll have to delete the Wonder Card to receive any more events. Um, yeah, but that doesn't, mean, that doesn't mean you can keep getting them on the same save file again, if you get what I mean there. All right. Let's go do this. I was in the okay, I was in the Pokemon Center. I was doing a trade last time. That was right. So uh, the last video I did was on Arceus. That's why I was in there. I was trading between games. Anyways, uh, with this one, I I think it's a really good. It's probably one of my more rare accounts because Manaphy, you can't actually catch it anywhere in any of the games yet. Uh, Ultra Sun and Moon is yet to drop, but. Uh, I, I doubt that'd be in there, but um, you, you can't actually catch this one. So I, I'd say this is probably one of my rarer, rarer kind of carts that I've got, uh, definitely. Um, a lot of them you can actually catch the Pokemon in the games already, but this one you cannot. So let's have a look at this Manaphy. So we can already see it's at level 50. It's in a Cherish Ball. It's holding a red scarf. <laughs> it's got, um, you now it's got the same OT uh, true as the last Arceus, if you did watch that video. So that's, um, I'd say that's probably because of the similar event. Um, we've got the same o o OT and everything like that. Now, as I said, this could be any nature, so it is soft resettable. Uh, Faithful account at level 50, uh, all that kind of stuff. Now, it does have a ribbon as well, and let's go over the move. So it's got hard swap, basically a signature move, Whirl Whirl Pulse, uh, Whirlpool, and Acid Arm. I, I actually said Water Pulse and Whirlpool nearly in one word then. I don't even know I, ma I managed to do that. Um, but here's the, that's a classic ribbon. Um, so that's the only ribbon that has. So that sort of just shows you what the Manaphy looks like and um, how you went about getting it at this point. Did, did, did anyone actually go to this event in real life that, uh, you know, was it lives in USA? Like I certainly didn't. I, I don't live in USA and there's no way I would have got this back then. But uh, did anyone actually do that? Uh, let me know in the comments. I'll be quite interesting to uh, hear. Let's go over some Manaphy sets too, because um, I, I like Pokemon building and I, I want to come up with some cool sets. So firstly, looking at Manaphy, right, it's only got one ability, which is Hydration. Now that encourages the use of Rain Dance. A little bit of backstory, um, in 5th gen, right, the weather abilities like Drizzle were actually permanent. So Manaphy, as you can imagine, was at the very high tiers of usage. Um, if you play singles, uh, it was in Ubers. So that's kind of changed a little bit since the weather's got nerfed to only a set amount of turns. You, you can still use stuff like uh, you know Damp Rock to extend it out from five turns to eight turns, but uh, back then in fifth gen, it was like they were so overpowered. You could use like you could just keep using rest, right? So we'll go for we'll go for one back then. So we want to use a a rest Manaphy with Rain Dance. So we'll go Rain Dance, 
and rest. Now, if you're a beginner or don't really know too much about Pokemon or haven't really looked into hydration that much, say if an opponent used Toxic on you, right, and you were poisoned or burned or paralyzed, anything like that, right, uh, except if you freeze, like you, obviously you couldn't attack then. I, I know, I know what that's like. I know what that's like. So say if you wanted to get rid of Toxic on right on you, right, and you set up the rain dance like it was raining, then you just went rest, right. What hydration would do? It would wake you up instantly, and you know you'd be fine. You you would have rested off all the. Uh, the, the toxic status and then woken up so it just clears any status at all however if you did get freeze sacks while it was raining you would get uh, the hydration would kick in straight away but if you got you know if it happened to you before the rain was up the hydration didn't kick in so it has to be raining for that ability to be active so that already gives us we could make like a bulky one so if we went max health um, EV so 252 in health we should make it very bulky uh, also 404 is a nice number like um, Manaphy has 100 base in all stats so 404 gives it 101 uh, substitute as well, which is a nice, you know, that's a nice substitute number um, for the move substitute, uh, which it can get as well. Um, but say we had rest and rain dance. We could go from there by running, uh, you could run a sweeper. Let's go for a stally one. So we could give it, it gets toxic too. Now, since it gets Whirlpool, this is this is a classic Pimp Knight set. I, I love this one. This is Rain Dance, Rest, Toxic, and Whirlpool. It's a classic set. It works very nicely, and it just generally pees people off. And it's very, very bulky, too. Now, you can either opt to go for a mixed set. Um, like, you can make it really bulky on one sword or sort of split its uh, defense and special defense. Uh, judging on a team, I'd probably run it as a... on one side, because... You'd probably have something like a defensive wall, or if you were to run it as a, if you had a defensive wall, you could run it as a special defensive wall. Um, but you could go for, a, you could opt for a, um, a defensive and special defense, so you could mix the EVs um, to whatever you needed to, or just halve each, or whatever you wanted to do. Yeah, that could work too. I quite like having one that's like max, max special defense, max health, or max defense, whatever you're using on your team, right? Um, that makes it. A lot more bulky than a split one and you know the split one can still be KO'd too uh, you have to wait for the rain if the rain goes down too you got to reset it up so there are things like that anyways um, and you give it like obviously you could give it damp rock I'd probably give it damp rock over something like leftovers that'd be me for a bulky one um, you could opt for those items but the problem is that like the rain going for eight turns is a lot better than five turns right so that's kind of why I'd run that. I probably wouldn't consider any other items than Dant Rock or Leftovers for, a, for that sort of set. Whirlpool traps the opponent into so they cannot swap unless they've got to move to get out of there like U-turn, etc. Okay, so that's probably uh, that's probably it for a bulky set. We, we could look at a uh, let's look at a, the you know the common special attacking set. So we go max speed, max special attack, right? Um, we'd go you'd obviously stop for a set for timber nature which give it 328 speed at level 100 now obviously bread and butter for a special sweeping set is tail glow now tail glow um, is an amazing move now it actually buffs it uh, by a lot of stage light which is plus three which is absolutely insane so you only need two of them and you're at max even one is very very strong so you have tail glow um, I could get stuff like surf scold I mean Skull's pretty handy too. It's almost got the same base power and it's got like a burn chance too. So you could probably run Skull on it. Um, running an ice move on it would be handy like ice beam. And you could probably top it off with like something like energy ball. So you're able to hit like opposing water types, like bulky water types that want to swap in. Um, I'd say that would be probably the best. Um, if you're willing to, you know, you could go for a hidden power if you wanted to. But I'd say those three moves would probably give it the best coverage. It, it does get some other quirks like Signal Beam, Shadow Ball, Psychic, but I don't see them as being like, if I was looking at a real competitive point of view, those would probably be the moves that I'd go for. It even actually gets Ancient Power 4th Gen Tutor too, so you want to go for an Ancient Power Sweeping set, but then again, you already have Tail Glow, so it's kind of redundant. So I hope that was uh, that was basically standard for a, a sweeping one. Now, I'd probably go for Life Orb on that. You could get as much damage out as possible. Um... Let's go. Let's have a look at its physical. Let's have a look at this physical, right? So physical Manaphy. Now I actually ran a physical Ferony. Was very very good and very, had a lot of success for. It. I actually ran a Choice Scarf button. Now this gets Knock Off, which is nice. Um, that was a good move on. It gets Bounce as well. Um, it also gets Waterfall. So those are pr like three pretty good moves on. Now the Bounce is not a very good move. It's really only there to hit Grass. You could opt for a Power Herb as the item if you really really want to, but I probably wouldn't. 
I, 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 it'd probably be something that I'd do. Um, or if you wanted to run it Scarf, you could, like, with U-Turn, then go for Waterfall. That would work. So you could run, like, let's go for a Scarf set. So Choice Scarf. So Max Health, uh, Max Speed. We'd run Adamant Nature because, remember, the Choice Scarf is going to make up for the lost speed we're putting into the attack investment instead of the speed. So that would work very nicely. So, as I said, Knock Off. U-turn, so we could scout a little bit and then waterfall and try and go for them uh, big flinches. Um, its attack's not too bad, right? It doesn't have any. It's not nothing like its special attack um, after the obviously, of course, after the tail glow raises. But all its stats are exactly the same, um, base 100. So it still works very nicely. I did it with uh, Fioni as well. So um, you could run for something like facade on as well if you're scared for like status or anything like that. I'm not really sure. It's it's quite it's very very limited. That's all I'm going to say. You could even uh, last resort. No, that's not going to work on a uh, choice set. There's no way you're going to be able to get all four of your moves off because you're locked into one. Um, th that's basically it. Doesn't everything like it would be nice if it had something like trick. That'd be cool. You could get rid of it, but it doesn't at that point. So that's all I'd probably run for the physical one. Now I love um, I love heart swap. It's such a good move. But you never ever see it ring run. So the switches the users the stat and changing with the target. So. You could go for. I'm trying to look if it's got any moves that will actually drop its, you know, it drop its stats. Like, you know, like example, like Leaf Storm or something. You know, superpower. That, that's the good situation for it. Or you could bring it in right uh, on a, a set up opponent, outspeed them, steal their stats with Heart Swap, and then you know continue to sweep yourself. So someone sets up Dragon Dance against you or Sword Dance. Very, very nice and very, very trolley, but uh, a very nice Pokemon. You can also run a bulky Acid Armor set. That works nicely. I've seen Aqua Ring Acid Armor combos work, uh, like Aqua Ring um, leftovers, like just pulling that health back with the rain as well, like just crazy stally sets. Calm Mind is also another option too over Tail Glow if you want to go for or Tail Glow's more, more of immediate power. Calm Mind's more just bulky. You can choose which one to go for, but th 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 that option is there as well. So it gets a night, it even gets Heal Bell, which is kind of useless if you're running hydration. Um, but it gets lots of moves. Um, I just thought I'd touch on a couple of sets. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, tomorrow I'm going to try, I've got a theme team or a Pokemon sweep. I'm not sure which other one I actually feel like editing and doing. Uh, we're actually getting very close to Ultra Sun and Moon, so I really got to start seeing which ones I want to finish off before then. Anyways, if you did watch this video, I hope you enjoyed it all the way, and uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.